Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And this is episode 2 of my Sims 4 Growing Together series. Before we get started, I quickly just wanted to say thank you for showing so, so much love on episode 1. It makes me really happy knowing that you guys are enjoying this series so far because I am too. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. It is Wednesday, middle of the week, but it seems like it's gonna be a pretty decent day. I'm so, so proud of Aria because she actually slept through the night. So Kaden and I were talking about this earlier because we haven't gotten a full night's rest in a while. He is, of course, going into the office per usual. So he's doing his rushed morning routine. I truly hate how morning routines are rushed in The Sims because if your Sims have a job, by the time they get up, it's almost ready for them to go. As you could see, we already got the notification. So he's going to go to work. He just brushed his teeth. Well, he's brushing his teeth now. He took a shower. He used the restroom. And now he's going to have breakfast. Looks like Arya ended up going back to sleep, which is good to know because I was definitely going to bring her out here. Um, I had some yogurt for breakfast. Teddy is obviously eating his food. And we have a dust bunny. Let's get into this because I've never experienced dust bunnies in The Sims. So it says, so friendly, so cute, but also so dusty. They may help find a few simoleons under the couch, but at the cost of your clean home. So if we interact with it, we can ask it to search for valuables, feed it some dust, or step on it. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. I guess we'll just feed it some dust and see what happens. And maybe ask it to find something. And if it finds something, we'll keep it. And if it doesn't, well, good riddance to you, little dust bunny. Because you're a little bit distracting. Oh, yeah. Um, Let's address the other elephant in the room. So, Hamilton the hamster is on a little vacation. Let's just put it that way. So, his cage was right here. And I really wish we had smaller cages for, like, hamsters in The Sims. Because... It was, it was really big. It was a really big cage and it wasn't really possible for me to interact with him unless I moved this desk, which is obviously inconvenient and quite the hassle. So for now, he's gone. But when we, you know, expand our family and change up our living situation, we'll definitely bring him back. He'll have the same name and everything. But for now, it just wasn't the best because our apartment is pretty small and me personally i have no issue with smaller builds i like it i feel like it's super realistic i didn't want us to just start at the top in like some nice family home i want to work towards it so speaking of work i also have to finish studying the training manual so we can actually get started with my career so, I hope Arya stays asleep, but we're a little bit over halfway there, so hopefully we can get it done, because then we have to take the exam. We'll probably wait for that. We'll, you know, we'll study it and let it kind of sit, marinate, and then, and then we'll take the exam probably tomorrow. So, let's see. Kaden has some good looking cereal, looks like um, Fruit Loops or something. And then this little dust bunny. Alright, so we're feeding it. And we'll come back in a little and see. Oh my gosh, that was Harper! We still have yet to meet her. But, okay, let's try to finish this up. Please finish it. Okay, Arya is still knocked out like a little light. Kaden's gonna be heading out any moment. Wait, before he goes, let's have him, um, ooh, physical intimacy. Let's have him kiss us really quick. Hopefully we have some time. Yeah, there we go. Just as like a little goodbye. Here we go. Let's, let's watch it. They're gonna do the most. I, I can already feel it. Look at that. Not the mistletoe, girl. Ooh, now he's feeling flirty. Well, that'll give him something to think about at work. So, yeah. Also, I love how protective Teddy is of Arya. He slept in her room overnight, which is the cutest thing ever. Like, I love that. Let's go ahead and throw this away and just clean up for a second. Because we never have, we just never have time to be 
alone, which is fine because, you know, we made the choice to have a kid, but we have to take advantage of times like these when she's asleep. So let's ask this little dust bunny to search for something, and I hope they find something good. Because if not, oh, that was, that was quick. They found a toy. A toy? Yeah, good riddance to you. Why did they have to do step on, though? That's so just traumatizing. Anyways, let's go back and let's finish up this chaining manual. Because we're so close. Come on, let's just speed through it and see if Arya wakes up or not. Come on, girl, finish it. Grind, grind. After we're done with that, I'm gonna play with Teddy because I know he just he wants to he wants some love too. He's been a little confused by Arya. He loves her, but he's like, what is this thing? Like, where did you come from? And you take up a lot of my mom and dad's attention. We're so close, guys. Look. Oh my gosh, we're finally finishing this up. I know I could have cheated it, but sometimes I just like to do things, you know the normal way i guess the the real way okay we're gonna play with teddy and i can't believe she's still asleep i think we should honestly wake her up if she's yeah her energy is pretty good and she's gonna have to get fed i was breastfeeding her in the last episode but we're gonna kind of try to try to wean her off of that we'll go and wake her up and if she gets fussy we'll put her back down but i want to do some tummy time with her because i did do a little rearranging with this shelf it used to be um over here but i moved the lamp that was in this corner to this side because we got rid of hamilton's cage and now we have more space to interact with her when she's on her little play mat uh-oh, she's... Okay, she's fine. She really goes back and forth. Ooh, she's angry. Okay, let's turn that frown upside down. What can we do to make her feel better? I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared of this little monster. Let's comfort her. Because that's all we need sometimes, right? I hope. Oh my goodness, yes, it works. She's happy. She's freaking happy. Her fun is going down, though. So, let's bring her over here. Well, actually, let's do one more thing. We can bounce her and see that animation. This is so cute. I love her little heart birthmark. And a lot of you guys like that, too. It's such a cute little, like, detail on her. And then we'll put her down over here. Hopefully, she is okay. How's her bladder, though? Oh, I didn't feed her, huh? Sorry, I got distracted. Psych, I lied. She does not want the bottle. Sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean to make you upset. Let's put her back down over here. She's probably going to get cranky and want to go back to sleep soon. Because these infants just need a lot of rest. So I guess we can just kind of... Ooh, We could turn on Nickelodeon. I do love Nickelodeon. But I do love Cartoon Network too. Let's just... Let's just, uh, let's watch TV classics again. Teddy is on the couch. Sir, who told you you could get up on this couch? Oh my goodness. Oh wait, she's, I'm always so confused. Like, I mean, like, is she upset or is she happy? And we're watching Good Times right now. I could really get copyrighted for this. Oh my goodness. It is grandma. It's my mother, Juliet. All right, let's turn this TV off. She got a special gift for me. Okay, wait, let's add her to the family. Let's have my Sim sit over here. And she can... Oh, Teddy said hello. And we're gonna have Grandma. Uh, ooh, tell her she's the favorite. That's okay for now, because she is the only kid. Uh, change diaper. Yeah, perfect timing. And she's hungry. So Grammy can, you know, give her the bottle too. Why you put her down like I didn't ask you to bottle feed her? I swear. There we go. Much better. And then we will put Aria to sleep. Wonderful. I love their relationship so much. Look at that. I have to take a picture. That is too cute. 
Oh my gosh. When she took the bottle away, she was like, Grammy, are you going to give it back? Or what's going on? Wow, just so, so cute. The dirty diaper on the, not the dirty diaper on the floor. Throw that away. Thank you. And we're going to put Aria to bed. And I kind of want to go out for dinner. I don't think we're going to bring Aria. This is going to be the first time she's going to have her babysitter. Like a different babysitter. It's normally grandma. But did she go again? Oh, she's asleep. I'm going to just cheat this because... Yeah, I just want her to stay asleep. And I can actually get myself ready. I'm going to clean up the sink real quick. And I already did my little morning routine, but I didn't take a shower yet. And since I want to go out for dinner, I'm going to take a quick shower because um, grandma's here, which means I can step away and I can kind of just do my own thing for a little bit. And grandma can come in here and watch the news, watch the local news. Perfect. I'm taking a shower. Aria is asleep and Teddy is asleep too. No surprise there. Let's see. Are we going to have like a casual dinner? Like I could wear something else. Kaden should be off of work now. Oh my goodness, he got promoted. That's what I like to see. He also received a bonus. Okay, he's an engineering intern now. Love that for him. We'll have him come in and say hi to his mother-in-law. Like, I didn't know you were coming over. I got a text from Akila saying that we're gonna go out for dinner tonight, so that's fun. Ooh, the glory of stories. Juliet can't get enough of these stories Kaden tells, especially that last one. It really brought the conversation alive. Would you say Juliet likes stories? Yes. And he acquired the comedy skill. Okay, wonderful. I need to use the restroom, apparently. Looks like Kaden's doing okay. Everyone else is doing fine. So this is the perfect time to head out. So we have made it to the restaurant and we're gonna go ahead and request a table. Um, this is such a beautiful, beautiful build. And I'll link it in my description box because off the top of my head, I cannot remember uh, who built this exactly, but they have incredible builds. So definitely go and check them out. But let's get a table for everyone i did change my shirt color just so i match the green theme of um everyone else and am i gonna get a ta are we getting a table or what okay there's kaden okay we are getting the table there we go table for three. Oh my goodness this is so cute wait let's take a look at the build a little bit more first so this is what it looks like it's a really like eco-friendly build perfect for evergreen harbor oh my gosh it's like breathtaking i love it it's so aesthetic and the background is beautiful i don't think i've ever taken my sims to a restaurant before so this is gonna be interesting i'm not quite sure if we ordered oh order for table uh let's see okay so this is the menu i was not expecting this um, okay, let's have our mom just get the regular red nectar blend, which is like red wine. And Kaden and I will get, actually, let's just get three different drinks. So I'll get the sweet and spicy. And Kaden is going to get this tang and zing. So we all get a little dranky drink, if you know what I mean. And for our appetizers, let's have... Rad rolls for everyone. That's all we're gonna do for now, but I'm thinking for the main course, we can do the mushroom soup because it's a little chilly outside and we just want something to warm up our bellies. And of course we have to do dessert. So we'll have chocolate cake. That's what we're gonna have for now. And the lighting is so good. The sun is setting, the wind is blowing. It's just, so freaking gorgeous. They're gonna bring out our order as soon as it's ready. Thank you so much. Her name is Eleanor. I hope they don't take too long though. It's already seven. It's pushing eight. Who is screaming? Uh, what is this guy doing? I'm a little concerned, not gonna lie. 
But we're just waiting for our food. I'm not sure what she came over here for, but she doesn't have our food, so I'm a little confused. We haven't gotten our drinks, we haven't gotten our food. Is this the chef? Cause we starving over here. We starving like Marvin. I'm thirsty. And I bet the food they chopping up ain't even for us. This, this long for some bread? Be so for real. It better be good. Well, we have our drinks, we have our bread, but like, we didn't even order our main course yet. So let's all eat our bread. I know we chomping real hard on this because we've been here for a minute. Never should it take this long to bring out the bread. Caden has to use the restroom, so we're gonna have him get up and do that. And we might as well just go ahead and order um, our main course. I don't even think we gonna have time for dessert. So let's get some mushroom soup for everyone. We feeling a uh oh, hello, there we go. We feeling a little, you know, a little good because we had our little drinks. And after this, we need to get back because it's still a work night and Kaden has to be up in the morning and I have exams. So yeah, we're gonna have to speed this up. Yes, this restaurant may be a little on the slow side, but it's still a vibe. Look, we got our soup. We're like, finally, dang. Oh my God, that was really cute. Kaden is so adorable. Realistically, we need to take this meal to go. But they better be lucky that this meal was spot on. It's delicious. Cause she stopped watching us eat though? Girl, move! All over my shoulder. I'm confused. Yeah, it's time to go. Um, end meal and pay bill. Oh, can we get the bill? Well, we having a little conversation. Let me get a few pictures first. I don't know why they browsing the menu like we getting dessert. Cause we not getting dessert. We about to end this meal now. Yeah, bring us the bill. Yeah, it's time. It's time to go home. So it is midnight. We just got back home not too long ago. Kaden is going to sleep cause he's like, I got work tomorrow. But we're just checking on little Arya, making sure she was okay. She's clearly tired. So she's going to sleep. I am going to just brush my teeth real quick. And we are about to be knocked out like Hayden. He is out snoring and all. Like he just got in bed too. That's crazy. Um, I think Teddy is doing, he's fine. So he should be able to just chill until the morning. So let's go ahead and sleep next to our husband because it's been a long night and that food made us real tired okay everyone well that is going to be it for this video i really hope you enjoyed watching if you did please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below once you are subscribed click the bell button so you get notified whenever i post a video and with that being said i'll see you guys next time bye